My name's Peter G. He, him, his. And um, Oakland, not native, but you know, Oakland resident. Uh, I feel like this Oakland is home for me. Um, as someone put it, you're a um, gay Chinese artist. Where, where else are you going to go? So, um, but I, I, I find that to be true too. I feel very at home here. Uh, moments of expression. Um, it's actually uh, quite accurate. Um, it's it's very um, pinpoints um, more of a, a sort of now now philosophy of of my work, and it's um, it is about moments and it's about expression. Mm. You know, I think it's um, important for people to come away with an experience um, versus me saying, well, this is the piece, or the title of the piece, this is what you should, ex you should be experiencing, period. It's more uh, fluid than that. Um, I think it's, um, it's important to remember that it's, uh, it's poetry. Mm. Okay, Peter, are you excited that you're showing here right now at the OACC with all your paintings? I am thrilled. I'm not excited. I'm just ecstatic. I, um, I just this whole experience has just been wonderful and working with the Kimmy and the staff here and um, they've really done a wonderful job at organizing and, and the logistics of putting up the show and they made posters for me and postcards and it's just been I've been treated like royalty and I'm and it's been just wonderful to have um, people come by and um, you know, share in this experience. And how do you feel that, you know, even though it's a pandemic, and do you expect people to be able to access your art or? Well, certainly there's, um, there's a protocol and, you know, there's signing up and signing in and temperature taking. Um, but it's not, it's, it's possible. I mean, it's, it's, um, I feel like uh, it, the biggest hurdle is people leaving their computer screens and putting their shoes on and actually doing an actual, something that's actual versus virtual. What keeps you inspired making all this artwork in your life? Hmm, I'm pretty certain it, I benefit in some way. Um, what I tend to think is that, um, is, uh, is that it's better than not doing it. I, <laughs> it keeps me sane, it keeps me um, connected. It, um, it's something that I, I've just grown accustomed to doing. I've been doing it all, a while. And um, I think that's about it. I mean, I, I just enjoy doing it. And um, how long have you been painting in your life? Uh, I'd have to say my whole life. Um, However, the, um, much of much of this work is is um, representative of the past five years. It seems that I took a a break of um, during of, of painting practice and uh, got back into it. Um, fairly recently, maybe, like I said, for about five years, but um, it's been quite steady. Um, people ask me whether I've been more productive during the pandemic. 
And I think I, if I have, it's just been a coincidence. Um, I feel like I, I'm always like this. <laughs> um, are you the only artist in your family? Are there other painters or, you know, doing art? I think everyone in my family is a creative, um, and that manifests in different ways, but um, I would say that, um, you know, I, I, I'm, the, I'm the one who's actually pr pursued painting as a medium. Um, but yeah, no, I, I've been blessed with um, having the support of my family. And, um, okay. and my last question would be, uh, what would you advise any young artist that are just beginning to find this painting as their calling in life? Put one foot in front of the other. I, I really don't have any advice beyond that. I think it's, um, if it's a calling, it's a calling and uh, you know you're going to find find some way to do it um but i i support it i encourage it i um i i invite you to find your own path okay. well thank you for um the wonderful um interview that and you know feelings that you've shared with us. Okay. Well, thank you for the interview.